Guys, it's time to power up the Traxxas Max. And what I've got is a Tekken 26518 scale motor and a Hobbywing XR8 Plus ESC that's going in. Take a look. I've done quite a few mods to the Max. What I haven't messed with are the electronics. And I'm going to keep that stock servo till it dies. I do have the little adapter so I could, you know, put whatever servo I want in there. However, motor and ESC time. And this I had in a Proline Monster Fusion, and it ran really good. I mean, really good. So it should actually run pretty darn good here. As far as the motor length goes, looks like it's going to fit just fine. So I won't have any ESC problems as far as fitting it. It's also a censored system, so it should run a little bit smoother. Now, we're just only going to start taking stuff apart piece by piece. If you don't want to see the install, the bottom left corner of the screen is a time. That's where we start driving. To get the motor out, you have this screw right here, which goes in over there. And you have two screws at the bottom, along with the cover, you gotta get that off, obviously. So once you get the motor out, take the pinion gear loose, take those four screws loose right there. You also have to take these two screws loose in the back and the motor can come right on out. This old Tekken's been around the block a few times. It's been raced, it's been bashed. Bearings have been replaced a few times on it, but the thing runs absolutely great. Now this is a 40 millimeter motor. The stock is a 36 millimeter, so should give more torque. If you look, if you feel the detent, you know, this does not have as much detent torque as a stock motor. However, you know, it should be stronger, right? The Tekken fits really good, actually. I was kind of surprised, but yeah, it fits in there just fine. You're only going to get two bolts holding the motor in place because, well, a different bolt pattern and all that. The Tekken has six bolts. The stock has four specifically for this mount. And so this will go right back into here. Something like that right there once I get the pinion gear on. And notice there's plenty of room in the back. And also the uh, Hobbywing ESC is a little bit smaller, so... There'll be even more room in there. So the Tekken is in place. All I've got to do is basically bolt it down with the screws on the bottom and put the cover right on there. And that part is done. Now it's time to get the ESC out and get the covers off for the receiver. When you take the ESC loose, you're going to have to remove your actual receiver case because the wire goes right underneath it. So, yep, just a few more screws on the bottom of the chassis. In case you're wondering, yes, the X-Max 8S ESC will bolt right in, like direct fit, even the motor wires and all will go. So that would be the easy way to get, you know, 6S into the stock truck, but we are doing a little something different. As you guys can see, there is a lot of difference on size here. So there's tons of room to work. Now this honeycomb chassis right here, this actually caused the issue with the rustler that I had as far as gluing these down. So basically, I'm going to have to glue this down with some E6000 and let it sit overnight before I can actually do anything with it. Because I really, the way this truck gets driven, that really needs to be secured well. Alright guys, the glue is set. It is time to get this battery in this thing and go see what it's got. I'm in a different field, in the football field now. And, uh, well, because there's people over on the other parking lot where I typically run. And grass is going to be a little bit different. Plus, it's summer. Grass is coming up. I did get 50 miles per hour with a stock motor in the grass field. Let's see what this one can do here. It definitely likes to come on up. Let's see if I can... Power feels good. I know I didn't get it topped out at all, so I'm short sure 40. Let's see if I can get a little bit bigger, longer of a run. Hopefully the wind noise isn't all that bad here. Maybe I can get something going here. Let's see. just seems to ride on up. Uh, 
So it's just pretty much wheeling at 42. I'd rather uh, be able to get a little more speed out of it than that. It's got more. It just simply wheelies up. Can't really seem to. I can't really get a full throttle run out here in this field. I mean, 44 right there. I know it's faster. I just can't get it in this field. Let's go ahead and hit that throttle real quick while we're on this surface here. Uh-oh. Yeah. Looks like this run's over. I've got some kind of a gear problem. So there we are. The plastic spur gear is now toast. Now the good thing is, X-Max spur gears fit this, and I happen to have a 46 tooth. This is a 50 tooth stock, so 2650 versus the 2400. So it's got more KV. Now it's fixing to get a faster ratio. This could get even funner. Taking this off, I found out why I actually stripped the spur gear. I forgot to put that bolt back in to actually secure this up against here. So basically this whole mount is flexing just enough. My fault guys, put that bolt back in. However, it's time to change spur gears now. This is the spur gear I've had for quite a while, so Anyways, we'll see how good an Intergy spur gear is. The 46 tooth is on. So yeah, it went in really kind of snug, but that's kind of perfect. So I know it's centered up and ready to go. Now it's time to get it in the truck and reset the pinion gear on the pin or whatever I got to do to get this thing right. To get the mesh right, it's in the very first hole. There it is, ready to go again. Got that bolt in place. Huh, it might be really loud. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. But we're about to find out. Okay, we're gonna give this a shot on the asphalt 4.7. Uh, finding a good grass field is just not gonna work out very well right now. I have no idea. I know I'm not topped out. Let's see if I can get a little better coming back. got 49 on that it's got a lot more I was not pulled all the way back in the trigger man I am not so good at speed runs one-handed am I all right we're gonna see if I can make a turn Still at 49.4. Still haven't got the same top guy. I haven't pulled full trigger all yet. Man, I can't get full trigger on this thing. It just wants to go all the way over the place. Still 49.4. I know it can go faster. I have not got it all the way pulled yet. It starts getting crazy. It's got to be good for probably 55, if not faster. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to call it there at 49.5. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I landed that one pretty good. <laughs> gap it. You gonna gap it? <laughs> I'm parked out of the way and you still hit me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a track says you can't break that thing. Actually, Ryan did. Really? How? He uh, was playing in the sand, just kept digging, 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 and broke a uh, front drive shaft. Oh, or a front axle shaft. A front axle shaft. Backflip. Well, I guess it'd be a backflip backwards. I have done it backwards like that before. We'll try it again. All right, we'll turn my Jeep, my thing down. Let's see. <laughs> Didn't get it that time. <laughs> nice. I love it. I'm at cutoff. <laughs> Max is down. Well, guys, so what do you think? Had a little drive, had some repair, and had some more driving. I got to be honest with you, that 46 tooth uh, spur gear actually worked out pretty good. Definitely going to leave that in. I love how I can just rip a backflip almost at will. You know, just right up a little bit of an embankment. Bam! Backflip. Awesome. This ESC, it's the Hobbywing, uh, well, y'all saw it at the start. Hobbywing XR8 Plus. That's coming out. Um... I did notice a few things I didn't really care for how that was operating. So I'm going to get a Castle Monster X ESC. That's going to replace that ESC right there. So I do have that to go. However, I do plan to keep that motor in here. I've got the, uh, I'm keeping the gearing. I'm, I think that's perfect. You know, uh, the truck runs good. Just couldn't keep the front down. Tried and tried. And as far as the straightaway goes, I actually had a friend of mine, he videoed me driving two hands and I was faster one-handed than I was two-handed. Go figure. But as far as the speed goes, as soon as these tires started to expand, it just got so crazy. Even with the TSM, I tried it off, I tried it turned up and it just, yeah, it wasn't going to have that at all. So anyway, guys. Um, make sure you check that description for links. I'll link up the, what I'm going to put in it, the Monster ESC, the Tekken motor. I've got tons of Vitavon parts on here. The bulkhead, the knuckles, the hubs. Uh, I forget what else I've got Vitavon on here, but I got a bunch of stuff and I'm getting more. I'm going to get the rear bulkhead as well as soon as I can. So anyway, Check that description for affiliate links on Amazon, eBay, and Amain. If you have something in your cart, make sure you come back to one of my videos, click on that link to go to that site, and then just simply check out with whatever's in your cart. It helps out. I get a bit of a commission, and every little bit helps. Keeping up to date with these RC cars is not cheap. So anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video, and thank you all for watching. 
If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.